and welcome to the stream, everybody. Oh, yeah. That's right. Venom 300, eastern side of Russia. Oh, yeah. Liza Nicole, shout out. Thank you for tuning in, as always. It's always nice having you here with us on the stream. Let's go ahead, connect to Vatsim, and we will begin the flight. 8.32 p.m. local time. Dart 13 is the cause sign. We are in the f -f 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 phenomenal phenom at this little airport of ours that has no scenery, but YOLO. Oh, look at that. You guys ready? Let's do it. Let's set this thing up. Alright, Eliza. Alright. Let's go ahead and get our ground panel open. There we go. Let's get this thing set up quick so we can just take off. Alright, so yeah, we're flying from... I don't have the airports memorized from the top of my head. But let me definitely get them downloaded into Avitab. The song is a little bit too avant-garde for me, so we uh we switched it up. All right, how much fuel do we have? We have uh, 2.4 tons, so let's go ahead and do uh, 1,200 in each tank here. Oh shit, that's pretty much maxing it out. Good shit. Um, and then we have a takeoff weight of 8.3. Cool. We reset that center of gravity. <clears throat> Why did I put the iPad away? I need it. Because of this flight plan. Okay. Uh, how are our volumes here? I think our volumes are good. Love this music. Oh, yeah. This music is good, but the last one was a little bit too, uh, too avant-garde. I'm gonna just say that to be nice. Alright, Ukma Tivla 1 departure. Oh, so we actually have a departure. Let me go. Procedure. Select departure. Utili 1 from runway 01. Okay, from Utili we go to. Oh my god. Oh, wait, we're on the Tivla one, not the Uchili one. Tivla one. There we go. From Tivla we go to... Lugut. From Lugut we go to Tupan. And then we go to UHPP. Cool. Alright, initial cruise is 400. Heading 010. I gotta get. Everything set up here. What am I missing? UCS. Shed bus off. Shed bus off. 
Everything here is set up like it should be. Let's get to go. Pumps on auto. ATS drive. That's good. Uh, we got ignition auto. Bring the flaps up. Make sure that. Yep, we got that. <clears throat> go into home aircraft performance lap one takeoff we're at a sea level temperature outside is 17 so we'll go to the 20 tab and we're at maximum weight 110, 110, 120. Cool. So that's all good to go. Excellent. Alright, now it's good to go. That's fine. Make sure we don't have any ATC, which we don't. Alright, let's uh, get some engines started here. One good engine start. We go and take the ground power out. And let's start number two. Here we see our departure. Excellent. Two good engine starts. Taxi lights on. Flaps one. And let's taxi to runway one, which shouldn't be too bad. It's just over there. Alright, brakes released. Let's go, guys. I mean, Eliza. So you're literally the only one on the stream, which is nice, actually. Okay, brake check. Brakes are good. Flight controls. Taxi lines are very weird, but we'll just, we'll do our own taxi lines. NH is Niner Niner Niner. Excelente. Looking forward to another amazing flight with my Captain Dart, the love of my life. Thank you, Liza. I'm also... Looking forward to this flight. Um, <clears throat> to be honest, flying the, the Phantom before I was tweaking it yesterday, it felt a little, like, too sensitive, so after I fixed it, I think uh, I'll definitely enjoy flying this more. So I'm also excited. Thank you, Eliza, for uh, being part of this adventure. Can't wait to fly to Japan. Maybe even tomorrow. We'll see. Good shit. Okay, I know for a fact no one's there, but we'll just check. Okay, landing light, strobe. Transponder out. You guys ready for takeoff? Oh my god, I totally butchered that. <laughs> oh well, let's uh, pretend that didn't happen. Alright, here we go. Get the hell out of here. Eleven knot crosswind. Eleven 
T1 rotate. That was rake. You're up. Up, so. Dropping frames, says Eliza. Well, yeah, it's uh, it is what it is. Okay, we'll climb a 220. Sorry about that. It's not my fault, it's the internet's. Blind power. Very bumpy. Crazy. Only drop 2.7% of frames. Usually I drop more and it's fine. So that's weird. We'll be making that left turn soon here. There we go. Get the yaw damper on. Help us here a little bit. Yeah, it, it'll probably drop a little bit of frames, I'm sorry. It's just, that's how annoying it is. That's probably the biggest issue of the stream. And that was your message again. That's fine. Keep pan flying this. Nice flying. Thanks, Eliza. Yeah, so we're literally on the very far east of Russia here, and we're coming down to, like, down here. Could be some terrain there. No, I'll turn the autopilot on at 10,000 feet. Oh yeah. It's fun hand flying this thing now that I tweaked it. Everything's very, like, smooth, like a one-to-one, -one, you know, one-to-one -one ratio. Before it was a bit bit weird but now I'm enjoying this quite a bit I have no idea why this map is not loading oh my god probably because we're on the edge of it oh well you guys get where we are so we're flying down to down somewhere here you know the landing you need The landing, you need IRL if you want, you should try it here. What do you mean? Alright, let's turn the autopilot on. We'll do nav. We'll do flight level change. At 220. Did you know the landing you did? You sh if you want, you should try it here. The landing I did IRL. 
You mean the soft field? The one with the not very good landing? Not last time, but before that? Man, these bumps are just not going out. The hell is this about? The one I did yesterday. Oh, <laughs> you're talking about a slip. Yeah, I'll do that. Hey, you know, it's so funny because I did that yesterday in the simulator when I was testing. I did a, 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 a forward slip to landing yesterday in the sim. But yeah, I should. We'll do it. I'll make a note. Fuck, I can't draw a goddamn... The air finally smoothed out. Let's do that. And soft field. Uh, and of course I can't go back. Just didn't like the way I wrote it. Yeah, I'm down. So we'll do a slip and the soft field, which is basically holding the nose up. I was a bit scared first time me and the heat and air kept picking up the aircraft. Yeah. Yeah, it was, uh... Long Beach is very gusty. But it's fun, right? This is an ETOPS flight, by the way, because we're going over the water. Very fun, plus I have the cutest pilot. Oh, I want to see. Cutest co-pilot in the house. Oh, look. Look at this turbulence now. Jesus. I didn't order that. My goodness. This is a... Uh, oh, very turbulent flight here. Wow. Can the autopilot handle it? That's the question. Jesus, this is almost like... Would you two get a room already? Oh. Mike, welcome aboard. Dude, second time. Second time that I've missed your stream. Was your sir sorry about that? What? What? Yeah, Mike, second time I missed your stream, I gotta really, uh... I gotta check my email. Or I gotta not suck and not be busy all the time. What was your... I'm, I'm lost, Eliza. Maybe rephrase that. What was... Just kidding. Hey, guys. Hey, Mike. Welcome aboard. Thanks for tuning in. Nice to see you. What was your orders? I...
Oh my god. I know what you're talking about now, Eliza. It's an inside joke about the waiter. Order the turbulence. Uh... Pad Thai. <laughs> Pad Thai. I get it now, it's an inside joke from Raman Khan. Oh, sorry, sir, sorry, one moment. Oh my god. Can we go back just for the memes, Eliza? So, quick, uh... Because for some of you who might not know the context, but there's this one ramen place Eliza and I go to with a, uh, waiter that's pretty nervous. And, uh... <laughs> Yeah, that's all I'll say. It's an interesting place. It's a meme, but the food is good. Why does this keep changing automatically? I don't like how it says that. Ba 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 Show fuel in pounds. Ba 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 ba. It's not synchronized autopilot. I don't know what the hell's going on here. But I don't like how this. Uh, I don't like how this is constantly changing my climb mode from indicated airspeed to Mach. That's another thing I didn't notice. Now, come on, we talked about this, no guilt, right? We're not keeping stream score. Please join when you can, and I'll do the same. Easy going, right? Absolutely, it's all easy going. Um, damn, I guess what would help is either coordination of when you'll stream. I'll definitely be on then, because I'll know. But another thing I can do is just, uh, I don't know. <laughs> just keep my eye out. A little bit more open. But uh, very nice to have you in the stream. Mike, thank you so much for joining. I know it's late night for you. It's probably midnight. But for us, it's um, 8.54. Not too bad. Let's see our estimated time of arrival. We'll select an approach just for um, shits and eagles. 1-6 right, I think. What was I doing? Oh yeah, the approach. Fuck. One six right, yep. So we'll go one six right, Sulu, vectors, minimums, whatever, I don't know what they are right now. Figure that later once we're there, I just want an ETA. Howdy do, Eliza. Hope you're well. Absolutely. I think that she is. Hey, Bebs, guess how many bird strikes I have? How many? I'm guessing you have 25,000. Ah. Oh, yeah, I was gonna look at time, so I gotta go into. Uh... Aha, uh -huh, okay. So we have about two... Let me change this slide. There we go. What are we at? Ah, two hours, 20 minutes. That's not bad now, is it? 
13.7k. Oh! Well, how many bird strike did you need for, uh... An engine out? 10,000? I forgot, I forgot. It's been a while since I streamed. I don't even know anymore. I don't know anything anymore. Let me check. 10k. Mike says, I, was, I will say I'm trying to get my sister on a stream next week. Excellent. Awesome, awesome. Hopefully it won't be too much of a QA. and a Trying to figure out whether Discord will work for that. It should, theoretically. Um, but does Discord work all the time flawlessly? No. But. Yeah. That should, uh, that's pretty much the standard for... Having someone else on the stream. Why is El always Eliza? Why is Eliza Nicole always trying to give you engine failures? I mean, I know, right? It's so cruel. I'm just trying to get from A to B. I'll say this though: when the init builds A310 comes out, there'll be a lot of engine outs because they have actual failures and engine out animations. So, but I know, wouldn't it be great for Eliza Nicole to give an engine out on her own flight? I mean, come on, that'd be awesome, huh? Maybe I should limit it to one engine, Eliza. Make things a little more interesting. Welcome to the stream, though, everybody. Welcome to, um, the Pro FSX Videos community. I'm enjoying my Modelo here, and you can say what you want about that. But, uh, got off of work about three hours ago. Just time to chillax on the stream with everybody. And just like driving, a little bit of alcohol makes things, uh, more interesting, right? Just kidding. Don't drink and drive, don't fly and drive. It's highly illegal. Especially flying and driving. Oh man, okay, so we have about... See, this changed to mock mode as well. Is this your first stream in an Embraer? No! Um, we've streamed the world... We've streamed segments of the world tour before. Uh, this is a very nice Embraer though. This is the Phenom 300 by Aerobasque. With the uh, G... Well... The G1000. Where's the G3000? Hang on. No, this is not the G3000. This is the G1000. Redeem posture check. Jesus, okay. I'm gonna be like this. This is the one with your custom livery. Yes, correct. Let me give you a sneak peek of what we're dealing with here. What the situation is. There she is. What happened to my face, eh? That's me, and this is her. Doesn't it look alike? Look at that texturing job. Perfect. Perfectly aligned. Absolutely amazing. You were being a dork after working on your car. You are being a dork after working on your car. When? Ah, uh, yeah, now I'm tracking. Okay, yeah, 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 so... Yeah, the, the only time we fly this is for the world tour. This plane I literally bought, and then the next day I'm like, Hey, Eliza, I'm gonna do a world tour in this. In the pic- oh, yeah, 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 it is. It is. It's that picture we took outside. 
Ah, I'm sorry, that was really loud. Yes, I was making funny faces after working on my car. I remember that day. It's getting a bit hot. I need to open the window. Ah, yes. You guys are quite the couple. Cute. Thank you, Mike. Appreciate it. Gifted, mister. Gifted? Oh, oh my god, you're right. Eliza Nicole actually purchased this plane. Isn't she an amazing girlfriend? I totally forgot. Thank you again, Eliza. In return, I made you a livery. Which probably would have costed the same. Yeah, the plane. Sorry, sometimes uh, the chat is out of context for me because I start focusing on something else. But yeah, I would never think that Russia looks like this. <laughs> Just like, this is literally the same scenery that is used. She's good people. Oh yeah. Oh yeah, her lies is amazing. It's just interesting, because this is literally the same scenery and X-Plane that you get when you fly in Southern California, so it's kind of interesting. I guess they only have one type of desert for the region. Or for many regions. Oh well. So I'm going to mark this flight as done, even though it's not. Cool. Cool. Yeah, estimated time was 2 hours 32 minutes, 910 nautical miles. But once we reach cruise... Let's actually stop climb at 380 here. That way we could just kind of... Get your cruising speed, because we are a little bit slow. I'd love to get around 500 ground speed, but... I don't think that'll happen with this crosswind. This cross tailwind. But we, uh, we can definitely try to get close. Right now we've got two hours. 122.8, yep. 122.8 in the box. Unfortunately. If I really wanted ATC, I could be flying in like the US right now. Or wait, or like at 10 a.m. for my time, fly it into like Gatwick or something. I know people like communications, but uh, I'm not very lucky getting ATC where I like to fly sometimes. So I used to fly only where there was ATC, but that got a bit boring for me. So right now we're exploring, and unfortunately we're on Unicom, but oh well. All right, so let's go ahead and go into our cruise. Cruise setting, which is 86.3. You don't normally get ATC over Russia. Yeah, not at all. It's dead. I mean, it's such a huge country that the only real ATC that gets online is the one in Moscow, but that's all the, that's all the way west. But we're on the far east of Russia. This is literally the end of Russia here. Which is quite amazing. And of course, we're going to water that beer down with some fresh water. Let's see what we can get for ground speed. Nowhere near 500. Um, is what it is. I'm gonna set the speed I don't wanna exceed, which is 240 indicated. And we'll do a step climb up to 430, but that's going to be later.
Do you have your world tour stops documented somewhere online? Yes, and um, actually, let me share that with you guys, or with you specifically, Mike. Let me make this um, where people only with the link. Anyone with the link. This is actually, let me rename it to Share the link. Okay, so, and I should actually change this so it makes more sense. Okay, now I'll share the link. So that link, you could see in the green is every flight. Um, share with me another lurkers, yeah. It's all good to go, so anyone who has that link can can, can open it. But uh, the green is basically the flights that are completed, and then this, like, pink-red are the ones that still need to be done. Uh, so, yeah, that is... And the fun thing is, you could, you could copy all the arrivals and paste it into Skyvector, and then you'll see exactly where I've been. So let me do that right now. So if you go, if you go into Sky Vector, you could, so I started here, and you go all the way up, and then I went across the, across Canada, a little bit of Alaska here, and now we're, we're here, and we're actually flying from here to here right now. So that's, uh, another cool thing, and then we're gonna go to... Tokyo, so we're gonna go from there to Tokyo. So we're gonna go from here to here and then from here to Tokyo. And then I'm not sure where I'll go from then. I'll probably hit like, I could go down, like literally all the way down here. Uh, but I'll probably, just cause that's gonna add so much time. I'm thinking of just starting to skim this here. I'd love to visit Australia and New Zealand. Like, Australia is right here. New Zealand is right here. Um, but I think it's just going to add too much time. But at the same time, it is a world tour. So I'm just... But then, again, if it was a world tour, why didn't I hit, you know, South America? But I think my world tour version is to get... is to circumnavigate the world and just kind of skim it you know, <laughs> somewhat directly, so. It's a world tour, but it's not, I'm not going crazy and hitting every single country and continent, you know. Fair enough, right? Because there's another plane that's coming out soon, the Aerobasque Falcon 8X. I don't see the Tokyo to Rome, I only see 15 rows of the sheet here on my phone. Yeah, no, I'm yet, that's what I'm saying, is I'm yet to plan, um, the rest of the routes. I just kind of plan as I go. So right now, I just have, uh, Tokyo planned out. I typically plan out one leg ahead. Just to make it more interesting, more spontaneous. At least I presume you're going to eventually return to Rome. Yes, yes, yes. And the reason Rome is because that's where Eliza and I want to go. Well, not Rome, but we want to go to Italy. Rome just seemed like a nice uh, starting point for us. We love Italy. We love the food, the culture, so... That's the explanation. Yeah, it's Rome to Rome with many stops.
But that's the plan. My wife and I did a whirlwind tour of Italy for our first anniversary. Wow. That's cool. Three kids, gotcha. I was gonna ask what the PK is. Wow, that's awesome, yeah. First anniversary, man, that must have been a trip. <laughs> that's awesome. Yeah, Italy, there's so much to do there. There's so much to see, it's just such a great place to be. The food, the wine, oh my god. Tell me about it. Last time I went was in 2019, we went to Tuscany, then Rome. Oh man, a trip to remember. That place was awesome. <laughs> Take notes, my love. Oh, don't worry. I already have a trip plan. You guys have been. Uh, I've actually never traveled with Eliza uh, outside of the US. We've traveled, but we have not traveled outside the US. I had a whole a trip to Italy planned, but COVID... Uh, Nah, COVID, what do you say? COVID kind of screwed it all up. So, uh, I guess we'll do that next year of 2022. So. Yeah, we definitely want to go. I mean, we're going to... The Caribbean. Next month. So I guess that'll be the first time we actually travel outside the country. Technically. Even though it's close to the East Coast, but... Yeah. A lot of places we want to go to, just, uh, you know, money's a big thing, and, and college students, we're uh, notorious for not being the richest, the wealthiest people on Earth, so. Hopefully by the time we go, we'll have enough saved up. If that hurricane doesn't move, Florida getting hit, yeah. If that gets cancelled, though, you know that we're going to Hawaii, so. But that's within the, uh, the states, so. It's okay. We'll still go somewhere. It's always a plan B. Let me look at Windy, the uh, favorite app for weather. Excuse me, but I'm streaming, sir. Ah, you're on stream, Dad. Say hi. Hello. Unreal. Sorry. Ay, 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 ay. COVID intervened way better that it only delayed your trip and neither of you caught it. Yeah, exactly. Turns out, by the way, Mike, it was a combination when I was sick. Yeah, Papa Dart. <laughs> when I was sick, it's, uh, it was a mixture of a really heavy cold and food poisoning, so not COVID. I'm lucky. No storms right now, that I see. Or hurricanes. Special guest, yeah. A five second guest. Hurricane Elza, is that the latest one? Well, yeah, it's Hurricane Elsa, but it's like... Uh... That's not in Florida. That's all the way in Virginia and North Carolina. Oh shit. Wow, it started... It's crazy. Tropical storm. Camo, usually my co-pilot is my dog. <laughs> oh, that's so cool. I didn't catch it, but was have have you ever had your co-pilot on stream? I'm looking at active tropical storms. We've got Elsa, that's about it. Um yeah. Shitty. Mm. 
Well, now that we've accelerated a bit, let's see our ETA. An hour and 47 minutes, that's not bad at all. She has her own command, dog. Oh my god, that's so cool. I'll have to read on your channel what that command does, but that sounds freaking awesome. Damn nostalgia, the Stig fan. Oh my god. Stig fan, I haven't seen you on here for ages, man. How you doing? Stig fan is one of the first uh, <clears throat> followers on my channel. Mental, yeah. What's up, Stig fan? Hasn't been on stream since you've been watching anyways. Oh, I see, yeah. I'll have to maybe look at some VODs. Since you've been watching. Oh, maybe some VODs or... Or I'll just have to be on stream and have a dog request. <laughs> How you doing, Stig fan? Welcome aboard. Oh, what am I doing here? Not bad, bro. What you been up to? Man, I've been up to life. I've been up to having a wonderful woman in my life. I've been uh, up to flight training, getting my private license, working on my instrument now, college, finishing up stuff, projects. You still have the E4? I have the E46, which is the next latest and greatest. But I also have an E30. See, Tupon, I gotta take a look at this shit here. Damn you making moves. Oh yeah. We're making moves, man. We're making the moves. <laughs> we are progressing. Trying to be a good member of society. Hard work. Love, family, you know. How about you, stick fan? How you been? Don't mean to get your hopes up, it just gives a little info about her. It's there in case she wanders in and viewers are curious. Oh, that's so cool! That's so cool how you have that command. You're the best. Oh, thanks, Eliza. Alright, let's take a look at some shirts. What else have I been up to? Getting tattoos? Well, one. Just been vibing, studying cybersecurity, pretty mental. Other than that, just having the most mental summer ever now. COVID is over. Ah, oh, that's cool. Cybersecurity. Very interesting. A topic that I uh, have to study sometimes in the aviation industry as well, especially the airlines. Pretty mental, having the most mental summer. Oh, yeah. I'll tell you what, we've, we've been traveling, we've been going out. We've been, uh, we've been partying pretty hard here. Not literally, but we've been, uh, we've been definitely enjoying our life. Because COVID ruined it all. Well, it didn't ruin it, it just put a lot of things on pause. And I knew it would kind of take a year for everything to, you know, it wasn't like that. Setting an alcohol tolerance bar for life, oh my god, yeah. Tell me about it. I'm a pretty good drinker in terms of, uh... In terms of, uh, how much and how many, well, how many and how should I say it? Look, I don't drink too much, okay? I drink, uh, a good amount, but I'm not too crazy on it. Still, still have never been drunk in my life, which is excellent. I want to keep it that way. But definitely been buzzed. And, um, you know, it's always fun. And COVID kind of taught me to control that, so that's cool. Okay, what, what star are we doing here? 2pon5 papa. So. Me and my friend crashed at someone's house and can't get no sleep, but I saw you were streaming, so I thought I'd say hi. Ah, oh, thanks for that, stink fan. Appreciate it. Thank you so much. I'm sorry that you, um have to stay over and can't get any sleep, but thank you so much for coming on. 
the common uh, the common trend is for people to be working while watching my stream. So thank you for partying and still being on my stream. Tell me, did you get a notification through your email or on your phone? I've been having a lot of issues with notifications. I've got work at two. Oh Jesus! And the time is right now. It's been on my phone. Got it. Okay. Yeah, so, guys, just an FYI, if you're not getting my notifications via email, turn off your stupid frickin' smart notifications in your Twitch settings. Trust me, it'll save your life. If you're missing my notifications, if you're not getting any sometimes, because when I stream sometimes it don't go on your phone, turn off smart notifications, they're complete ass, complete trash. 5 a.m., but I've had an hour of sleep, so going well. Oh my god. Well, if you need to go at any point, I grant you permission to do so to catch some sleep. <laughs> Forgot what country and I thought the UK, right? Uh, okay, arrival two pun one six right. Right, that's a useless chart. Nope, this is useless as well. Maybe this will be our hope. Aha! What are we, 2 pound 5 November? Why do I keep opening Google Maps? I'll catch you in a bit, Mike. We should catch up sometime. Absolutely, stick fan. Um, don't be afraid to hop on the Discord or whisper or whatever you gotta do. I'm getting the phone notifications, no problem. Okay, perfect. Smart notifications will... If you turn smart notifications off, it'll help you get the notifications, uh, like, everywhere. Like, email, everything. But yeah. I'll catch you in a bit. As well, Stick Fan. again, if you want to keep in contact, there are many places you can DM me anywhere you want. Oh my god, I almost spilled my water. Wild. Eliza, how you doing? Da, 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 da. Two on five papa, uh-huh. Right. So not the five November. So we gotta go into here. Hello? Charts? Hello? Hi Bebe. Hi Eliza. Hi <laughs> Papa, there we go. Two on five papa. Wanna be a... Uh, Tupon between 160 and 260. How about we choose that lower limit? Not feeling amazing, but pushing through. Oh god. Well, you need to see a doctor, Missy. You... It's time for you to see someone there. No, you don't like to, but... You need to get well. All right. So we'll do the lower limit at two pawn. And that way we'll do... Uh, yeah, let's do uh, like a 2,000 feet a minute. Let's boogie down there. What the hell? Uh-oh, hope it's nothing serious. Well, we don't know, but... Eliza's hesitant to see the doctor. That has to do with her tummy. Sometimes she doesn't want to eat. And that's a problem. Alright, so the max we can do is 1900, so we'll just do 1500. That's an hour in an hour. Minus 2000 is a lot. Ah, for this aircraft, yeah. Yeah, it is. But, to be honest, we could just override that. Because we can go by degrees. We'll just do two and a half. That's that's pretty much 1900. So we'll just do a two and a half degree um, descent here. It's an hour ten minutes. Should be good. Yeah, awesome. Are we on fuel? Looks like we have... Ah, uh, kilograms on board. Looks like we have... 
1799. And where are we at? See how we're doing here. Uh, well, at what point should we have seventeen hundred? Why is this plane doing that? We just had a weather change, that's why. Wow, that was like a huge thermal. <laughs> Okay, so 1700 would be at the ETOPS entry. Uh, so after TK. After TK, which is... My sis is all about the 3-1, which I think is 3+. plus. Yeah. True, three degrees is is uh, good, but in the smaller planes, it's uh, it's technically more comfortable to descend at a less of a rate. Lugu to Tupon, what the hell happened with our flight plan? Three to one. So for every thousand feet you descend, for every what would that be? Every Three miles is a thousand feet? I don't know. <laughs> what am I doing? Oh, yeah. TK. See, because we didn't take Bravo 224. Because it wasn't freaking there. Oh, well, now we're proceeding to Tupon. What the f... Oh, I know what happened. Oh, oh, that's not good. That's not good. Load airway. Oh, there are airways. Oh, my God. Jesus Christ. That's why we didn't have any of these points? Mm. Unbelievable. I didn't know you can load airways. I feel so stupid. But I guess that's why you learn, right? Alright. So we... Okay, so we missed these two. Let's go to Gunba. Let's go here. Let's proceed direct to Gunba. Nope, not Tusser. Direct Gunba. There we go. Now, two point. There we go. Now it's good. Unreal. Jesus. It seems nearly like 3,000 FPM depending on ground speed. Ah, I see. Okay. Yeah. Honestly, 3,000 feet a minute, I would definitely do that in, like, an airliner, but in these planes, like, 15 to 2,000 is, I think, a little more reasonable. Otherwise, your... Your nose is, like... Yeah. I mean, look, two and a half degrees is only 2,000, so it's, like... If I were to do three degrees, it would be more like 2,500. Or sorry, I correct myself. If... Yeah, three and a half degrees would be about 3,000 a minute, so that's a little bit... It's a little bit too nose down, so I'll, all I'm saying is it wouldn't be comfortable for the passengers, but is there anything wrong with it? No. But look, like... Three is right here, and that's already close to the end of the, the VS uh, tape. So there's a reason why it's like, you know, 
Whereas on like an Airbus, it says six here, so it's just more. I think it has more to do with the uh, more to do with the arm of the aircraft, meaning that like the center point is not far from each side. So like if you look outside, like we're cruising and we're already pitching. It looks like we're pitching. But yeah, like. The fulcrum point is very short. Just an observation. Sorry guys, just texting Eliza making sure that she feels better. Point well taken. Yeah, it's just... I don't know, I'm not an expert in flying these planes, you know. I just, in real life, all I fly are, uh... Hyper Cherokees. But that's just my view on it. There we go. My pet peeve is how it always loads really long. But I guess it is what it is. Why is it centering here, though? That's weird. Maybe because the next round? I think I just found a bug. See, like I'm zoomed out. Ah, never mind. Wow, there's so many things I'm learning as I go. Like, you can pan. You can pan that. What? I didn't know you can even do that. That's so cool. You can literally look at the whole route. Ooh. What? Oh, man. I didn't know that. That is so dope. Yowza. The more you fly, the more you know. That's not makes me a noob on this point. <laughs> F mod sound for the toilet, isn't that fucking awesome? Hey, close the door. I got you. That's so cool. I'm gonna give myself a posture check, guys. Oh, posture check. There we go. Sitting straight now. Her 3-1 rule is for descent planning. Three miles for each thousand feet down. It requires a 3 plus degree descent, which would be a lot for a smaller plane, as you say. Makes sense. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's cool. Okay. No, no. We're Yeah, we're on the same page about that. For every thousand feet you go down, you travel three miles. Gotcha. Well, that's something that I learned. Yeah, because I think in this plane you could also descend. Well, I actually don't know if you can... 
No, you must be able to descend with the... Uh, degrees. But we have Nav on this plane, so we'll just make use of that, so we don't have to worry about, you know, adjusting it. That'll be fine. Alright guys, well I'm going to take a small break to stretch, and I'll be back within five minutes, okay? So, see you guys in just a bit. Hold tight. Thank you. 
Alrighty, guys. On the menu, we have a banana, an apple, and a snickerdoodle. Okay. Okay, we're approaching Gunba. Dinner of champions, dessert of champions, maybe? Oh yeah, dessert. I had, we had some pad, oh, well, I had some pad thai. And, um... Yeah, total 1.6, and we're at Dunba, so let's see how much we were planned to have then. Dunba, 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 Dunba... Or Gunba. Yeah, one point ooh. Youch, one point six five four. Yeah, we're about a hundred pounds, a hundred kilos behind profile, but that's probably because we had a forty knot uh headwind that was probably not accounted for, but oh well. It's okay, we have plenty of reserves. Not that there's an alternate airport. <laughs> Love me some Pad Thai. Oh, yeah. Pad Thai is, um... Mwah. You'll definitely need to get some tomorrow for lunch now that I brought it up. I have a feeling you haven't had it in a while. Here we have an apple, but it's a small apple. Kind of like the one that Snow White or some some story like that. I don't remember. I'll mute the mic to spare the noises. <laughs> It definitely is on the brain. Quench <laughs> that uh, need to get some pad thai for sure. Sleeping Beauty. Oh, yes. Sleeping Beauty, not Snow White. I got all those um, fairy tales mixed up. Leave it unmuted and call it an ASMR swimming stream. <laughs> All right, Mike, you asked for it. ASMR has been getting more and more popular. The problem is I have a filter on my mic. I have compression, noise suppression, and noise gate. Those last two ones mean that if my microphone don't reach a certain volume threshold, then it's going to leave it um, pretty much muted until I start speaking again. Uh, mute away. Okay. <laughs>
The point is that for me to make it an ASMR thing, I'd have to turn all the filters off, which change the way I sound and change the way the noise comes into the microphone. But maybe what can one day we can make an ASMR stream. That'd be weird. It'd be. It would be not weird. It would be interesting. Copy to send in less than an hour, that's awesome. Focus on the simming, okay. <laughs> oh dear. What's it called? I think our ETOP sentry was, uh... After TK. Well, did it pass yet? No. That's not ETOPs yet, isn't it? After TK. Oh my god, we did pass our ETOPs. I just don't know why we're on an ETOP slide if we're just skimming the water. Maybe because we're a certain distance away from the land. Especially at this point here. That's probably why. Or like here. That would make that ETOPs, I guess. If I want ASMR, I'll go into ASMR specialist. True. True. Yeah, I, um... There are only certain things that I'm good at. I don't think ASMR would be one. I think there are people that are born. I don't know my flight trip. <laughs> A Twitch channel is just a specialty, you know what I mean? There are a lot of categories that I can name that I would not be good at. ASMR, one of them. This is what is this, so you can't be good at everything. There are people who are good at everything. They're superhumans. They are superhumans. Me too, same here. <laughs> no. Ay, 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 I'm not a fan of some of these songs. Alright. Well, let me go back to the approach chart. That's not it. This is it. Might as well just set the ILS up now, be done with it. Well, let's check the wins first. Apple is done. Let me take a look at the weather. 170, good. 
164 is our approach course, so what we'll do is we'll sync the heading bug, click heading. There must be a better way to do this, but... 164. I love flying old school, so I'm not really into this technology shit. 164.1099, so we'll go into here. 1099. Boom. And we'll do the same for here. Okay, that's good. So the course is 164, 1099 is the ILS frequency, and that's set. So now we can go back into GPS and click on nav. And our glide slope intercept would be around uh, 700 meters, which uh, we'll calculate that in feet. But I know for a fact that these altitudes here are in meters. So what we'll do, we're a category C aircraft. I think, yeah. Uh, mm, we might, no, I think we're category B actually. Let me see. Category aircraft A, B, C, D. We've already been this before. Okay, category A. Is an approach speed of 90 knots or less. Okay, cool. That's what I do in my Piper. Okay, category B is 91 to 120. So it depends. If we're if we're if we have a higher approach speed, like 121 to 140. I think we're I think we're in the 120 range though. Well, let's take a look at our let's take a look at our speeds here. Let's go to aircraft. Go into freaking approach mode. Not approach mode. Into the uh, landing. This is still takeoff analysis. This is landing analysis. Ooh. Rich climb landing. Mm. Okay, I know that will weigh about eight. I don't know how much will weigh. We'll see, but 121 is <laughs> literally the highest one. So technically. If we had an approach speed of 121, we would be in the category C, but I know that we'll be in category B. It's not a huge deal, but we're just doing it how you would in real life. So, we'll be category B, so 95 meters. I think it was like 2.1. Nope, it was like 3. <laughs> ah, 3.281 is the... Uh, so we'll do 312. So if we're going to here, we could set our minimums on. And we'll do... We can't do 312. But we'll do 310. And call it a day. So there you guys go. And then we'll figure our approach speeds out later. But yeah. Good trip. Yeah, everything's in meters per second and meters in Russia. I'm not sure about the Ukraine, actually. They might be meters as well. Oh, we didn't do a fuel truck, but... We just passed Kuda. 1.54 Oh <gasps> Wow We're uh 1.54 and this is 1.68 so we're about 140 Kilos out of fuel.
Oh yeah, our total mass is, is 7.3, so... Yeah, we're gonna be, uh... 7.3 is one, yeah, we're Category B for sure. It just gets iffy here, because this is a Category C, but this would be a Category B. Anything here and below is Category B. And this is just, like, 10 knots above the Category A. Oh yeah, fair enough. Man, it really doesn't like, uh... Floodable 430. Not much benefit, to be honest. We just increased the knot. Oh, I'll well, screw it. We'll just do what our flight plan says to do. There goes my water, so good luck to me. Ugh. I want to move closer. Oh, man. Alright, so here's 430, now we can reduce this guy. I just don't know why it's telling us that we'll have minus 100 gallons of fuel remaining. It doesn't make sense, I think it's confused with, um, kilograms. I don't get it. It might be because it doesn't take, uh... It doesn't take into consideration that we're going to be... ...reducing our thrust for the descent, I think. So, uh, yeah. And also, I could delete this Tupon here. Because we already have Tupon there. So, yeah, now we're, you know, our ground speed is shit now. It's not increasing. I think we were better off, guys. <laughs> to be honest, I think we were better off at uh, 380. There's absolutely no benefit to that. So let's get down to 380. There's absolutely zero sense to that. We'll do VS down 500 feet a minute. So it should take us... Uh... 10 minutes to the sun? Yeah. All right, let's get down quicker. Let's do a uh, 1500 mi a minute. Uh, 1500 feet a minute. That was an absolute waste of time and fuel. Oh well, lesson learned. Uh, sometimes flight plans are uh, not too good. In the sim, of course. That way we'll also gain that back. Look, look at our ground speed just increasing. What a waste of fucking time. Oh well. This is what it is. Live and learn. Hey, you live and you learn, eh? Oh wow, look at that. Display backup. Oh my god, that's cool. Yeah, you can do that. That's funny. How many times in this stream have I said I didn't know you could do that? I think that's all I've been saying. This, you know. Alright, under turbo, let's kind of chill out there on that indicated airspeed. Yeah, it's not taking into account that we're going to be descending with pretty much minimal power. It just struggles a bit at 430 right now. 
Other times it was fine, like for shorter flights. But yeah, like our... Oh shit, you know what? It screwed my descent profile up. There we go. 32 minutes of descent, guys. Can you hold it, or do you guys need to go poo poo? <laughs> That's not too long, guys. We were there in a. Yeah, we're gonna start the approach in 51 minutes, so. Just hold your, ta hold your pants. We'll be there soon. I know it's late. I don't usually stream this late, because, uh, well, my schedule just changed for work, so I would be coming home at. 10.30, so it's nice coming home at 6 now, and having time to myself. 1,000 feet to go, checked. But yeah, uh, it's nice, because now I'm able to stream, but... That's gonna end soon, because I need to start studying for a lot of stuff. With a hard landing, uh, not hard landing, hard deadline. There we go, now we'll go back into cruise. Alright. Let's go back into Avitab. Let's plan for 7.2. Okay, 112, 112, 112, 8. 412. VFS. 112. I'm gonna go with VREF plus 5. So 117. Cool. Oh, I keep putting it away, but I... Uh, let's not forget. Or do a forward slip to landing. Maybe. A soft field landing. We'll see. Not a fan of this song. Forward slip to landing or in soft field. We'll see. I'm getting tired though. Definitely go to bed after this, eh? Well, if you guys don't mind, I'm actually going to start taking a nap. Well, not a nap, but just relax. I was gonna say a nap. <laughs> nah, not a nap. I mean, like, kind of lean back in the chair and relax for a little bit. It's uh, starting to hit me, but it's all good. We can't nap as pilots. Well, on long hauls, it's different, but we can we can sort of um, monitor. Let's say that monitor. This long haul stuff is for the birds, dude. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> oh, yeah. Bird takes care of it. We'll just monitor it. We can already see the, the airport, so we're definitely close. 
We're definitely close. Topo or no topo? Ah, topo. I'm gonna have to catch your descent and landing on bot. It's well past 1 a.m. and I have to get up early tomorrow. Not a problem, Mike. That's uh, absolutely fine. Thanks again for tuning in. I'll try my best to do better. That is a bummer, but 1 a.m. That's uh, sheesh. And I think uh, 11 p.m. is late. <laughs> Anyways, thank you so much for tuning in once again. I hope to catch you on the VOD. Or hope to catch you on your stream. Let me know when you stream and I'll be on. Thanks again for being a loyal viewer and uh, have a great night. We'll see you, Mike. Alright, all my friends, see you soon. Wishing a smooth descent and buttery landing. Thank you so much. We'll definitely eat olive oil and butter that landing. Thank you. We'll see ya.
Currently looking on the Ar Arbex website. <clears throat> Arbex website of the T39. Looks like a very interesting chat. Good stuff. Top of the 22 minutes. Carpet is very nicely detailed. I could just imagine the smell in this plane. It's uh, like a new smell. Wow. Egg, what were we at? <laughs> For fuel. 1.338, like I said. One point four four seven. We're making our progress. 18 minutes to top of descent. So I know that he is, you still ain't got 
So tired, I just feel like slamming my head on the desk right now, like... Like that. Oh well. Thirteen minutes. Quite a bit of clouds that built up right here.
yeah, 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 yeah. I feel like the time keeps adding on every time in here. It's like pranking me or something. Alright, I had enough of R&B to be honest, so let's go. Ooh, I like this song, I'm gonna screenshot it. You're doing great, thanks Eliza. I'm gonna take a or take a photo of this song. Cause it's good. Also Eliza, my phone's on D and D because of bedtime, so uh don't hate. Yeah, thanks for the encouragement. Oh, man. That's what I get for streaming when I'm tired, eh? Hey, man, it's to top of descent. Or as some people call it, top of drop. I know, it tells me what the new update will, will, tells you what. I'm so lost, I'm sorry, I'm tired. Context. When you are on DND. &D. Oh, yeah. I know. I could turn that feature off when it tells you, but. Yeah. Top of drop is this little symbol here, right after Denzi. so tired. I'll be out quick after this flight.
yourself, you start to doubt yourself. What direction feels so rainy? Things on the shelf like your dreams ain't shit. Just being blockaded to your mind's eye. Be conscious in the visions, occupy your life. Night, I'm quite right. Cause I ain't the only one that's been here. I turned around my fortunes with a reset. So my head's clear, I'ma sit up on my throne. No need to wear a crown. Cause I've got the strength to fight with chips down. Hey, you know. Jesus, I didn't know there was a button for the chrono right here. That's crazy. Your okay, kid bug swap. I'm tired, yeah. I'm I'm tired. Not really. I'm tired. But we're getting this flight done, goddammit. I regret doing this flight this late at night. I just want to sleep. My sleepy head. Yeah, I know. Did a bike ride. Went to work. Did a bunch of math today. It's like fucking hell. No way, is that a freaking volcano? Oh my god. Wow. Less than two minutes to top of descent. I feel your pain, yeah. Like, uh, you know, life isn't perfect. So, um, yeah, I'm not gonna be fake on stream. I'm just, I'm being, being who I am. Okay, some streamers make life seem perfect, like flawless and shit, but it's like... Bike work Italian, yeah, same shit, right? Just a bunch of work. You know, again, like I said, some streamers make this world the perfect fucking... I'm not even gonna go there, but you know what I'm trying to say. I'm like, oh yeah, everything's great. And then... Behind the scenes, it's totally the opposite. Unreal. I hate that. Fakeness is just my pet peeve. Alright, we're gonna click on VNAV. Here we go. It's coming down. Here comes VNAV. Want to massage strong bugs and cider? Oh, I'll have a cider, yeah. 
a hard cider or a cider? Like a wussy cider or a real cider? I'd love to have a massage, thanks. After our alignment. And wheel balance, so. Eh? Hop shoop shabadaba. Oh. Of course, hard cider. Fuck yeah. Of course I want one. Are you kidding me? Pineapple hard cider. Ooh. Mm. Ah. Mm. <laughs> Pineapple hard cider, for fuck's sakes. I need a fan in my room, it's way too hot. That's the other reason why I'm fucking sleepy. This window's not doing shit. Yummy, yeah. Oh yeah. It's finally descending. Hey, that's only for my ears. Yeah, I know. Lol, nasty ass. Don't be nasty now. <laughs> Don't be nasty, buggy. <laughs> Maggie. 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 Can you imagine? Love, guess what? What? What now? What's the what's the problem? This is a prime example of pilot fatigue. God, I just, I can't imagine the feeling. Earlier when I had you on my laptop and screened it, my dad came in and was watching and said he wants me to make him a Twitch so he can follow you and watch your videos and comment. Good job in the chat. That's fucking hilarious. That's awesome. That's so cool. <laughs> Definitely do that. And give him a cool username, too. He wants to support you and think it's cool every time. Oh, that's so cool. Thanks, Eliza. Isn't it weird? Like... I, I don't give a fuck that I don't have any viewers, you know? Like, I had my time when I had viewers. But right now, it's just about, like, hanging out. This is just a hangout, okay? This is a hangout spot. In fact, I'm gonna just name the stream the hangout spot. And fucking, we'll see who joins. Like, I'm not... 
I'm not trying to be this, you know, and you probably think that I did, but I'm not trying to be this guy who's like, oh my god, I want a million viewers on my stream, I want to be popular, I want to be like, you know, I want people to clip my stuff and be on YouTube. No, like, this is a hangout spot. <laughs> so yeah, have your dad come to the hangout spot. I'm gonna name this the hangout spot. From now on, that's just the title of the stream all the time. The Hangout Spot. Love that, yeah. Oh my god. Captain Weston flies. Welcome aboard. Captain Weston flies, thank you so much for the follow. Welcome aboard. No, really, dude. Thanks, sir. Thanks for the follow. Welcome to the hangout spot. <laughs> yeah, but uh... That's some motivation. <laughs> this is a place where people just hang out, you know? It's like I'm opening a server for people to just come and join. Like Minecraft, right? Remember those days? Playing Minecraft all the time and then your parents getting mad at you for not doing your homework? Oh, NP, no problem. Cool, man. I know I'm boring right now and I'm tired, but we're getting there. Just here to watch and chill while in bed. There you go. That's a good bedtime story. Watching uh, PFV stream here. Well, appreciate it. I hope you fall asleep to my soothing voice. Not really soothing. Oh well, yeah, we're chilling. Platable 250, we're descending to 160, and then we'll be descending even further down. <clears throat> down to our approach which is here on the ILS is going that way so I'm thinking that after oh my god I did not know you could zoom in like that either that is crazy why am I finding out about all this shit creepy yeah I know that's why I like making it creepy no, I'm kidding. So yeah, from Tupon, we'll probably go to PP00, uh, PP011. Oh, this yawning. Through the clouds soon. Uh oh, dangerous. And Captain Weston, you're actually the 1111th follower on the channel, so thank you so much for coming on. You are follower number 1111. Next time that'll happen is at two 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 two. <sighs> Am I stupid or is that map upside down? Because if it's that Easter part, shouldn't it be mirrored? Absolutely, but I like my maps this way. Here, this is I'm about to press a button that's gonna make it look more familiar to you. How's that? Does that look more familiar? Is that better? But I don't like flying this way. I like flying track up so that the plane is pointing up. I don't like when it's north up because it just I like this way. Okay, so 
No, you're not stupid. It's just the way I have it programmed. Way better. Oh, Jesus. Okay, well, let me leave it. Let's see how confused I get. Oh, God, I just... I hate it already. It's normal now. Fuck no. No, it's... This is it the wrong way. You had me tripping, lol. <laughs> No, 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 no. This is the other way is the way to go, but you know, just for you, just for this flight, I'll have it. Hmm, the wrong way. North, yeah, I know north is up, but where is my plane facing? My plane is facing southwest, so I like to have the map pointing where my plane is pointing. Because I'm not, I'm not going this way. I'm going fucking this way, so it's pointing towards where I'm going, which is southwest. That's why north up doesn't... Look where the plane is. You see how the plane is like that? This doesn't make sense to me. Um, it makes sense, but to me, I like seeing ahead of me, not north of me. You know what I mean? So to me, this is the right way to fly, but uh, people who... Or not pilots like to see it this way because that's how they see it in Google Maps. But I don't, I don't fly this way. I don't like it. Each their own. You do you, boo. All right, we'll continue on down after two pond to two thousand four hundred. So. Well, you're flying southwest. I understand, and that's exactly why I like doing it this way, because I'm pointing on the map to southwest where I'm flying. I'm not... Here, it doesn't show where I'm pointing, it just shows me a relative to north, which is... You know, I'm not even gonna argue with you. You love arguing with me. Pick on someone else. I'm just flying your fucking plane right now. Unreal. I'm kidding, so don't get offended, but... Um, yeah, I'm flying north up, but for now... This is, uh, for you. So, okay, PP001. Well, we'll have to go to PP013. So let's go direct. Yeah. All right, so I guess we're too high, so we'll just retard that thrust. I hate this view. But it's for you. Because you like it this way better. I like this way better because I can actually see where I'm flying direct to. How about that? Here, I don't... I don't I'm just wondering why I was upside down. On no, I know you're not mad, and I'm not mad either. I'm fucking with you, but... Um, it's not upside down. Well, for the map, the map is upside down, but... Uh, that's about it. It's gonna be bumpy through here, so just... It's not how all pilots fly their maps, just different for some of those in pilot. No, every... There are only a handful of people who fly north up, I think. Or maybe a good amount, but personally, I don't fly north up. I fly track up, which is my preferred way. That's, that's all I'm gonna say, that's it. I wanna move on from that topic. It's fucking controversial. <laughs> For a non-pilot, it probably makes more sense this view, but I don't like this view. For me, this makes sense because I can see exactly where I'm flying to. Where my plane is pointed. This this view doesn't show where my plane is. Well, it does, but it's not... The map's not pointed away. That's all I will say. That's it. We might not make this, uh... Well, maybe. Oh shit, and of course it's raining. Is the temperature lower? Is the temperature lower than...
Oh yeah, okay, here comes the anti-ice. Look at all this terrain here, eh? 10,000 feet lights on. Alright, I'm gonna cut the music because we don't need that. Right now. What we need to do is we need to focus on getting down. I think we'll actually make this descent. It's a lot of terrain, so that's one thing to consider. Wow, this is a... <laughs> very terrainy. Exactly. For non-pilot, it makes more sense because the other way it looks like you're flying somewhere else. Yeah. No, I understand that. But for me, this... Yeah. I'll just keep it on for this flight. But... Sure, I'm sure everything's going to be okay. Wow, it's really shit weather here, isn't it? Let me recheck the weather. One's, uh, it's the exact same. Almost. Yeah, I think we'll make this descent. A lot of terrain. I love this, uh, approach so far. It's freaking cool. Trying to look for the airport. Should be around our 10 o'clock. 11. Should be hard to see though. Oh well. Okay, that's reverse. I I mean, uh, thrust idle all the way. And the QNH was 1018. Sorry, 1006. So we're actually lower than we think we are. Which is good. So it'll help us there. Let's just do heading select. Let's change this CDI mode. Yeah, I think we'll be good on the approach. This terrain is a bit concerning, but it shouldn't be too much of an issue. Because we are now coming to our profile. Okay, and we'll literally just arm approach mode here. Approach mode. Very bumpy coming in here. At least the rain stopped or... We think that it did. <laughs> Alright, approach speed, 7, yeah, we'll do s perfect. I think we have, it's set for 7, so 1, 2, 8, sorry, 1, 1, 7 is our VREF. Let's go ahead and start that turn for the localizer. Do a 30 degree intercept. We'll decrease the rate of descent by a little bit. Like 500 feet a minute. Here comes the localizer. Wow, this terrain is just beautiful. We have the airport in sight, the runway in sight. Did you know that strands are the only ones that study a different map where they believe they are on top and everything flipped? Really? Are you talking about Google Maps or what? Thousand feet to go? Interesting. Seems like they do everything different there. Good luck, my love. Thank you, Eliza. Let's let's olive oil this one. It's the last uh, flight that we're in Russia, so. All right, can I put flaps one in yet? 180, no, we gotta slow to 180. So let's speed select 180, so we know where we are. Idle for the thrust. <sighs> How can we have a fucking tailwind when I Calculated. No way. That's wrong. Alright, gear down. Focus, I'll tell you about Australia tomorrow. Okay. 
Alright, so let's actually slow down to flaps full, which is 160 for the speed. So, 180. Do flaps. Flaps 1. 170 is flaps 2 and 3. Flaps 2. Flaps 3. And 160 was flaps full. Boom. 160, and now we'll slow down to 117. Which we are slowly. Let's get in the landing position here, so we'll just turn the... Autopilot. Turn the autopilot off, and the plane is ours, okay? So... Yeah, this plane flies really nice now after we tweaked the, uh... Oh, Eliza, I forgot to do a forward slip. But I remember just now because of this. So what we'll do, we'll break away from the glide slope, okay? So we'll actually detune that, um... We'll detune that... ILS and we'll hang around at this altitude right here. And we'll do a forward slip. So let's say we're coming in. We remembered at the same time. Yeah. We'll slip landing. Uh huh. I know. We'll just hang around at this altitude now. We're at our approach speed. And I'll keep coming in. Okay, I'm not saying that it's going to be pretty. But I'll try my best. So we'll keep maintaining this altitude. Coming in, coming in. I'll know exactly when it's at that point. Okay, so yeah, like, for example, we're way too high, right? Alright, so right about now, I would do right rudder, and left aileron. Oh shit, well that's not working, is it? Hang on here, let me try. The rudder's a bit still sensitive. There we go. Okay, let's try our best here. It's not gonna be the best, but... Just because this plane is a bit finicky. 500. But so far, so good. 400. Nope. Nope. <laughs> 300. Come on. There we go. 200. Alright. Minimums. Continue. Oh, Jesus, a little bit. <laughs> yeah, this plane doesn't like it. You usually don't do it in a, in, a, in a jet like this. Oh, Jesus. That was the worst landing I've ever done on stream. <laughs> oh, my God. No, you can't, you can't really do it in these planes, to be honest. They're just, they're not meant for it. They're structurally not made for it. But... We're on the ground, so we made it. Maybe we, I think we popped a tire, right? Yeah, you saw how the plane was moving like that. It doesn't like it. It's not meant for it. We're still in one piece, though. I'm surprised the uh, wheels haven't fallen off yet. We'll call that the bunk landing. Bunk. No, it was not olive oil. <laughs> That's such a meme. That was the opposite of olive oil. That's hilarious. That was the loudest bunk. It's okay, you had the right idea. <laughs> yeah. Well, it's not my fault, it's just the plane's not meant for it.
In fact, let me prove it to you again. Still an amazing stream, flight, and landing. Well, thank you. Alright, well, let's log off of Atsim. Let me show you what I'm talking about. I'm gonna, I'm gonna take this plane up one more time. We'll do a flaps to take off. Right. Watch this. Nom nom nom. Oh yeah. Check this out. Let's try that again, but let's turn yaw damper off and see if that helps. Yeah, the idea was definitely there. It just doesn't really work in this plane. It works in a Cessna. Or like a Piper, but not in this. It's just too big of a plane to sideslip. You don't sideslip this plane, it's not approved for it. Anyways, let's just do a quick takeoff here and let's try that again. Cause I, I, that was a bad landing, so let me try again. Let's do max thrust. Let's just do a right traffic here. Gear up. Minimums. Minimums. It's yelling minimums at us when we're not even at minimums. Okay, so we can't exceed 170 now. Let's redeem that landing, shall we? Let's try another side slip. Okay, we're a bit close to that runway, so let's track out. Just some hand flying. I really do love this, uh... terrain around here. It's just gorgeous. Yeah, we'll be landing on this runway once again, so... Isn't it funny how I said I'm tired and now I'm, like, trying to redeem my landing? Alright, so let's just get the gear down. Flaps three. Let's do another. Let's see, because if I start a slip right now. Yeah, see, it still, it still oscillates it. See that? It's just not meant to do a slip. It's okay, you got this. Yeah, we're just having fun. We're just, it's the hangout, you know? All right. Let's try to redeem that landing, shall we? Flaps full. I'll do a little slip. Not a huge slip, because it doesn't like it. Especially with the yaw damper on. Let's see, where are we? Oh yeah, okay. Do a little slip for us here. Stower base. I'd like to turn final so that I can do the slip. Alright, so the, the only reason you do a slip is if you're way too high and you're trying to make the runway, which you should honestly, at that point, just go around, okay? Well, for the sake of entertainment, in real life as well, we are going to do a slip. So let's say this is a bad side picture, right? Two whites, so what you're going to do is actually the winds are to the left now. So go like this. Like way too high, yeah? See, it doesn't like it. Now we're just diving for the runway. It doesn't like it because it just keeps oscillating like that.
Yeah, see? It, it doesn't like it at all. But, yeah, this is not a position you'd want to get yourself in. Luckily, the runway is long. Yeah. It doesn't like it, it just kicks the, it kicks the rudder back. Let's do one more after this. That's the touchdown we're looking for. Alright, we'll go around, we'll do one more. Let's do a normal landing now. Alright, pause the ray, gear up. Just a normal landing now. Olive oil, yeah. That's what I was looking for. Okay, so now we're crosswind. Now we'll turn downwind. Getting up to our altitude. There. Okay, now we're down one, and we'll just do a normal landing now. No slips or anything. It doesn't like a slip. Yesterday I was fooling around with slips, and um, it just it didn't like it at all. It kept doing that weird thing. All right, let's start our descent now. Let's get the gear down. Flaps three, flaps four. Uh, we'll just do a uh, normal landing right now. So we're descending at a nice little rate. We're down one now. Uh, let's olive oil this and put this plane to rest. Yeah, that first landing was awful though. So, I am currently redeeming myself. <laughs> the redemption, eh? Can even put the, uh, ILS back in here just to see how we're doing, but we're fine. Alright, let's turn base. Olive oil. Oh, yeah. Let's do it. A little bit slow. Let's snail it. Aiming for the threshold, we are high, but we'll be, uh, we'll be fine. A little bit of a slip. Not too much. God damn it, it did it again. See, every time you, like, release the rudder, it just goes haywire. It hates slips. This thing just hates slips. Alright, let's just get a good, nice landing in here. And that's how you do it. Okay? So, that's my redemption for you guys. Especially for Eliza.
What's up? It's a long way till the next exit here. Okay, olive oil. Oh yeah. This plane is hard to fly because, well, hard to land because the uh, side picture is way different than what I'm used to seeing. So like, uh, it's hard for me to tell where the ground is compared to, uh, you know, other planes. Okay, we'll just park wherever the hell we want. No one's here. Cool, so there's your forward slip that this plane um, doesn't like to do. Maybe we'll see if someone else likes to do a side slip. Single engine taxi life. Okay, we'll just go into here. Brakes are set. Turn number two off. Or number one. Did you guys like that? Then that was a great flight. Thanks for watching. <clears throat> Let's have a look at the replay real quick. That last buttery landing. Oh, we're a bit high here at the end. And now our spoilers were not on. It's just an X-plane thing here. Look at that float, though. Mmm. But... A little bit left rudder, and... Oh! You saw that? A little bit left rudder. Boom. Butter. But the first one... Jesus, say. Eh? I think this was the first one. Funk. It actually wasn't that bad, it just... Oh no, yeah, it was, it was pretty bad. We didn't pull up in time, that was the thing. Oh yeah. And then we went around... And this was the second one. See that? It just it doesn't like it. Halfway down the runway. Way too fast. Held it, held it, held it. Alright, but we touched the mains on the nose at the same time. Shitty. Then we took off again.
tried to do a forward slip, but didn't go so well. Not this time, I was just trying to hold one, sort of. Then we were looking better. Held it, held it, held it. I'll take it. That's my redemption. Alright guys. It's getting fucking late, so... Thanks so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed, guys. More of this tour coming next time. Uh, I love this plane. It's really cool. It's fun to fly. It's awesome. Aerobasque is awesome. I can't wait for their Falcon. But this plane is awesome, too. So, yeah. Thanks for everyone for watching, and I hope you have a great evening. See you on the next one. Cheerio, guys.